Hey guys, it's Nay, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I would style cargo shorts for spring. Cargo pants and parachute pants were really, really big for the fall winter time, and I feel like cargo shorts are just an extension of that for spring. They definitely have similar qualities to the cargo and parachute pants, hence the name cargo shorts. And the best part about these shorts is it's super easy to find them at the thrift store right now, so you can definitely get yourself a good pair without having to break the bank. I have two pairs with me that I just thrifted the other week, so I'm going to show you guys them. So this is the first pair of cargo shorts that I thrifted. I found this one in the men's section. You're going to find most of these cargo shorts in like the men's section or the little boys or like big boys section. I got this one in the men's section for $6 and I really like the color of this one and I like the baggy fit of it. This is the second pair of cargo shorts that I thrifted. I found this one in the little boys section. Um, it's a size 18 red. Regular. And what I like about the pants and shorts from like the younger boys section is a lot of the time they come with little adjustable elastic straps on the inside so if the waist is a little big on me I can easily just adjust it here and I'm actually going to be styling this pair of cargo shorts for this video so if you want to see how I style these cargo shorts for the spring then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is look number one. This is more of a sleek street style type of outfit. I really like pairing more form-fitting tops like this high neck bodysuit with the more baggy fit cargo shorts. These shorts have an adjustable waistband on the inside so I can either wear it high-waisted or low-waisted. Um, in this case, I kind of wanted to show off the high slit bodysuit a little bit more so I wore it low-waisted. Um, I just think it looks a little more interesting with a little bit of like skin peeking through. And then for shoes, I went with these leather knee-high boots that I got from Zara a while ago. They are heeled boots and I think they pair really nicely with the cargo shorts despite them kind of being contrasting pieces. I really like the look of more sleek pieces like these boots, um, the bodysuit, and even having my hair slicked back uh, with the cargo shorts. I feel like it just elevates the look of the cargo shorts a little bit more. And yeah, I just feel like it's a very good balance. And then for bags, I'm going to go with this vintage Mugler bag that I snagged off of Depop. I really love the color of this bag. I feel like it really complements the gray tone of the cargo shorts as well, and it just ties the whole outfit together. This outfit looks really cute, but I think a pair of sunglasses would really tie the whole outfit together. So I'm going to go with these sunglasses that I thrifted for 50 cents which was a steal for these ones. They're like these sporty style type of sunglasses. They're really, really cool. They do feel like a little cheap. They're very lightweight and the plastic is kind of cheap, but I mean, I always kind of end up losing my sunglasses or sitting on them on accident anyways. Okay, yes, I feel like the sunglasses really tie the whole outfit together. It's a whole look with the sunglasses. Like this is a whole mood right here. And this is the completed look number one. I'm gonna go ahead and change into look number two. Okay, so this is look number two, still keeping it fairly neutral. Um, honestly, majority of the outfits in this video are going to be neutral just because that's what I like to wear, that's my personal style. For the top, I went with another bodysuit. This one is by Misbehave, and I really like the bone, like, muted gray color of this bodysuit. I feel like it really complements a lot of my other neutral tone stuff in my closet, and it also really complements the gray tone cargo shorts and I also threw on this leather blazer jacket. I live in Northern California so even during the springtime like beginning of spring it still can be fairly cold. Right now it's like 50 degrees highest outside which is cold to me personally and I get cold easily. This is just a realistic outfit that I would actually wear during the springtime in the area that I live in. Again I went with my leather knee-high boots from Zara. You guys are going to be seeing these boots a lot in this video. I just really like the pairing of these boots with the short and I feel like it also looks really good together with the leather blazer jacket that I have on. I feel like it makes the jacket not look too out of place if that makes sense. And this is the completed look number two and I'm gonna go ahead and change into look number three.
Okay, this third look would be something I'd wear on a warmer day. I went with a ribbed crop top that I got from Zara. I really like the gray tone of it. It's kind of like a distressed gray if you look at it a little bit closer. And then I tied this light beige hoodie around my waist just in case it gets a little bit chillier. I actually intentionally tied the hoodie around my waist just because I was feeling a little bit bare in my midsection. Um, and also I really like how the beige kind of breaks up the gray from the crop top and the cargo shorts as well. The hoodie tied around the waist also kind of like plays off of that sporty look that I kind of got going on with the Y3 hat and then the like ribbed crop top as well. But I also do have leather heeled boots on so and then if it is more of like a colder spring day I do think this outfit would look really cute with like a knit hood that I have and then this puffer jacket so I'm gonna try that on really quick okay this is the outfit with the detachable knit hood that I have I'm pretty sure that they sell this on like Amazon and a couple other sites too maybe like ASOS I really like how the outfit looks with the hood down but um, it looks cool with it up as well I know like the balaclava thing is like really trending right now. Um, I don't think this is necessarily a balaclava. Um, I think some people will call it a snud. I don't know exactly what it's called though. So if you do know then let me know in the comments. I think the hood does look a little out of place because I have kind of like a crop top and like shorts on. But I think it'll look a little more put together when I have the puffer jacket. Okay, this is what it looks like with the puffer jacket on. Again, I do live in Northern California, so we do get cold days even during the spring. Um, so for the area that I live in, a puffer jacket is still appropriate for like the beginning of springtime. This is the completed third look, and I'm gonna go ahead and change into the next one. Okay, this is look number four. This is definitely more on the comfy, cozy side compared to the first couple of outfits. This Essentials hoodie is my favorite hoodie to wear, just like to lounge in. Um, it's like a men's large, and I like how the black isn't like a pure black. It's more of like a faded, almost worn in type of black. Here's the back side. Realistically, I'm in a hoodie and sweatpants like five out of the seven days out of the week But if I do plan to go outside of the house, then I usually just kind of like swap out My sweatpants for different bottoms just to make it look like I didn't roll out of bed and as for shoes I went for these rain boots. Is it raining outside? Probably not But I just like wearing rain boots for like everyday wear last summer I would just literally wear like a knit sweater as a dress and then no pants and rain boots out People would like kind of look at me crazy, but I feel like after Kanye wearing the Balenciaga croc boots and just like work boots in general and like kind of normalizing it for everyday wear, I feel like I won't get as much crazy looks wearing the rain boots out during the spring. But either way, I'm not really dressing for anyone else, I'm dressing for me and I really like how rain boots look. These are my favorite rain boots. They are the original tall hunter rain boots. They're originally like 160 on their website, but I found these babies at the Buffalo Exchange on Telegraph when they were still open in Berkeley. And then if it starts to get like unusually warm that day, I have a really cute top underneath too. So I'm gonna go ahead and change into that really quick. So this is the top that I had underneath the hoodie. You always have to be prepared and have a really cute crop top underneath if it gets a little bit warm. And this top is from Cider. I really like the cutout detail of it. It's like a warm tone charcoal color um, and I really like how it looks paired with the cargo shorts and the boots. I feel like it kind of gives off that utilitarian vibe. But yeah, this is the look with the hoodie off, and I'm gonna go ahead and change into the next outfit. Okay, so this is look number five. Um, I'm still trying to dress up the cargo shorts, but just doing it a little bit more modestly. For the top, I have on this Ducey dress. Yes, this is a dress. Um, I just scrunched up the dress up to like the highest point of the slit and since the dress is a little bit more form-fitting and the cargo shorts are more oversized it just kind of like sits at my waist perfectly without me having to pin it or anything which is cool and I also really like how the slit of the dress kind of makes it look like an asymmetric top too. For shoes I went with these Zara leather boots with the zipper detail in the front and honestly, I don't really like wearing shorter cut boots or shoes with these cargo shorts just because I feel like the little bit of 
calf that's kind of exposed makes it look a little stubby and stocky to me personally and it also makes me look like a little bit shorter than I actually am too which I don't really like um, but I feel like these specific boots work because of the zipper detail in the front it kind of has like an elongating illusion so it works with the cargo shorts this is the completed look number five and I'm gonna go ahead and change into the next look Okay, this is look number six. This is probably the most casual and most relaxed outfit out of the whole video. Um, this is something I would wear if I'm just going out to run errands or if I want to go for a walk or go to the park with Harley. This is something that I would throw on. Graphic tees are my go-to tops when I want to be really comfy. Um, I have a pretty large collection of graphic tees, some that I've kept even since high school. This one I didn't get in high school though, um, I got like kind of recently I guess, but it's definitely something that I would have worn back then. This is a super throwback kid robot tee that I found at a vintage store in Oahu. Here's like the back side. I think it's a men's medium, uh, which I usually do buy like a men's medium or large in my graphic tees because I do like them to fit oversized. And for shoes, we have a shorter cut shoe surprisingly but these ones do have the zipper detail in the front like the last boots that I was wearing it kind of gives like that elongating look these are the undercover converse and I just really love the detail of these ones and then for bags I went with this cream puffer bag that I got from Zara and this is the completed look number six and I'm gonna go ahead and change into the next look Okay, so for these last couple of looks, it's gonna be kind of more on like the soft grunge kind of laid back rock vibe. I really don't have like one aesthetic that I stick to. Um, I really just dress based off of like my mood or what kind of music or books I might be into at the moment. Definitely having a lot of fun layering jewelry with this outfit and have the fun little studded belt too. For tops, I threw on this white ribbed racer back crop top that I got from Zara. I literally bought like five of these um, just because I wear it so often. It's just a really good basic. And then I have on this really, really cool oversized zip up pity that I found from the thrift store in the men's section. Really like the graphic and like little stud details on this pity. And I also like the wash of it as well. I mean, I did find it from the thrift store, so it's probably been worn multiple times. But I actually do kind of like that more like worn in, like faded black look when it comes to hoodies. This belt I actually thrifted. I really like this studded cross detail all over and then for shoes surprise surprise I went with my trusty leather knee-high boots from Zara just like how it really looks with the whole outfit I also like how this outfit looks like even without the hoodie too Here, let me just take the hoodie off. so if it does get like a little bit warmer it even looks nice with just the racer back top as well and then for jewelry I just threw on like a mix of different necklaces that I had one of them is from heaven by Marc Jacobs the other one is chrome hearts and this like big Bigger ball chain I got from a local jewelry store it's called two days jewelry and then I also just put on a couple of my favorite rings as well this is the completed look and I'm gonna go ahead and change into the next one you want to stop it Okay, so this is the last look. Um, this is basically the same outfit as the previous look. I just swapped out the top for this really cool long sleeve mesh top. Um, and it has like the shining twins in the front. I always get compliments whenever I wear this top out. It's definitely one of my favorites. This is actually a full length top, but I really like how it looks tied up into a crop top. Um, especially with these cargo shorts, I like the proportions of a crop top with these more baggy fit cargo shorts. And then for belts, I'm using the same cross studded one as the last outfit, but I think this outfit would actually look really cool with layered belts on top. I actually have two different ones here, so I'm gonna go ahead and try those on with the outfit really quick. And this is the outfit with the grommet belts. Um, I actually really like layering uh, multiple different belts on sometimes. It just makes the outfit look a little bit more interesting. The metal from both of the belts really complements the silver jewelry that I have on. I think this outfit will look really cute with the shades that I had on in the beginning of the video. I think the sunglasses look really cool with this outfit and I think I'm gonna go with like an oversized leather hobo bag. I'm just gonna go with this oversized leather hobo bag that I thrifted a while ago. I think the silver hardware on it really complements 
the belt and the jewelry that I have on as well. Okay, and that completes my cargo short lookbook for the spring. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found some inspiration from the looks that I put together and I'll see you in the next one.